things are not looking good for Apple because the iPhone 15 Pro Max has a big problem. You see, the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max have a new kind of material called Grade 5 Titanium for their outer shell. It's supposed to be tough and durable. Apple even said that titanium is going to make the new iPhone stronger than before. So to check how tough it is, our favorite Zach from Jerry Rig Everything did some tests on these new iPhones. And when he started pressing down on the phone's back, within seconds there was a loud snap and the glass on the back of the phone completely shattered. Zach has been doing these tests for over a decade and rarely do we see a phone break like this without putting much effort. In fact, it's the first iPhone that failed to pass its durability test except for this foldable phone from Apple launched in 2014. Now, a rational human being would look at his test and say, Apple messed up with the durability of the new 15 Pros. And if they own one, they might exercise extra caution and consider using a protective case for added safety. But Apple fans, or should I call them Apple apologists, are built different. They are saying, if you don't want to break your phone, just don't bend it. These are the same people who said the same thing when Apple released their tablet a few years ago when Zach broke it like a biscuit. And no wonder they say that because they learned it from the best. Look, I agree no one in the real world would go on and bend their phones like that. But the reason this is an issue is because of how easily Zach was able to break the glass. Other phones don't break so easily. Even foldable phones survive his bent tests. But this phone is the only iPhone that didn't. And it's an issue because say if you accidentally sit on your phone even for a split second, then the chances of the glass breaking are way higher than in previous years and would cost you hundreds of dollars to replace it. I personally had a similar experience with my phone almost a decade ago. It was Sony's Xperia Z Ultra. I tossed the phone into my bag and just a little unintended pressure did the trick. The screen cracked. The point is, phones shouldn't break that easily, especially the ones costing over $1,000. What's ironic is that Apple said titanium was going to make the iPhone stronger than before, yet it made it weaker. And titanium itself isn't at fault here. It's how they designed the product as it lacks the same structural integrity as earlier iPhone models. And not just that, all the iPhone 15 models also have a widespread overheating issue with some owners reporting that their phones get too hot to even hold without a case. Infrared camera readings reveal temperatures reaching up to 116 degrees Fahrenheit. Interestingly, Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo says the main reason is likely the compromises made in the thermal system design to achieve a lighter weight, such as the reduced heat dissipation area and the use of a titanium frame. However, he predicts that Apple could partially address the issue with software updates. Another issue with the Pro models is that the titanium can get scratched pretty easily especially the blue and black ones. Again, it's not titanium that is getting scratched, but the PVD coating to give titanium the colors. So it's highly advisable to get a case if you have one of these phones. So yeah, things aren't looking good for Apple. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.